Hi friends, welcome once again in another episode of Derivative. Uh, well, in this video, we're going to learn the quotient rule, uh, quotient rule of the derivative, right? In previous video, we learned about the product rules and we did some problems also. Now we're going to uh, introduce the quotient uh, rule, right? Uh, by the way, we have uh, learned a little bit in the uh, uh, in the introduction of the algebra of derivative chapter, right? Uh, so now uh, let's learn a little bit deeply about the quotient rule, right? And uh, to understand this, let, let me take the two functions f and z, right? There are two functions f and z. Then <coughs> we have to find out the derivative quotient rule. Simply say uh, the derivative of the right uh, function when one function is being divided by the second function, right? Here f x function is being divided by the uh, 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 by the g x function, and we have to find out the derivative of this, right? So uh, as we have learned there, it is equals to uh, second function, right? Times the derivative of the uh, sweet times the derivative of the second function uh, second function right again minus first function times derivative of the second function right and then whole divided by square of the second function right square of the second function or in another way you can write like this fx by gx whole prime that is this prime actually indicates the derivative of this whole power right is equals to second function times the derivative of the first function again minus first function times the derivative of the second function right whole divided by the square of the second function right or uh, if you wants to understand in the z, uh, u and v form then simply uh, derivative of the u by v here u and uh, divided by dx right here u represents the fx function right and v represents uh, represents the gx function so it will be something v times derivative of the u function u minus again u times the derivative of the v right and then the whole divided by the v square right or simply you can also write like this u by v prime that is derivative of the u by v equals to v times u prime minus u time v prime whole divided by v square right you can understand in any way right uh, some people also write like this uh, have seen uh, derivative of the uh, numerator to the denominator right so d by dx derivative of the numerator to the denominator is equals to right uh, denominator times derivative of numerator minus numerator times derivative of the denominator and then whole divided by denominator square right or simply uh, you can also write like this uh, numerator times denominator whole prime means the derivative of the numerator to the denominator is equals to denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus numerator times the derivative of the denominator whole divided by denominator you can write uh, 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 you can understand or write or uh, remember in any way right uh, just to remember I'm just giving some numbers also if you, uh, if you feel it uh, uh, easier than d by dx of 1 by 2 but understand that uh, derivative of the constant function is always and always zero right here 1 and 2 is constants so that's why derivative of the 1 and 2 will be uh, always zero but I'm just to make you understood right so 1 is here representing the fx and 2 is representing here gx so it will be uh, 1 sorry uh, uh, let me erase it uh, with the different color fine that's 2 times derivative of 1 minus 1 time derivative of 2 whole divided by 2 square right 2 square means the function gx square or simply 1 by 2 that's 1 divided by 2 that's 1 function divided by the second function is equals to now the derivative of the uh, 1 by uh, 1 fu first function is divided by the uh, second function that that's we're going to find the de derivative right so it will be uh, second function times derivative of the first function minus first function times the derivative of the second function whole divided by the second functions square so you can understand in any way right uh, by any way you feel easier now out of this all uh, you, you can understand by any way right uh, I'm not going to prove this all right we can actually prove this quotient rule also by the uh, first principle also by the first principle so it's it will be too much lengthy right uh, you, you you don't need to prove it simply uh, just use this uh, apply this in the uh, problems right so now I'm just taking a, a, a simple problem over here uh, well uh, let me take a simple problem 
Uh, well, what should I take? Uh, well, fx is now uh, sin x, suppose, right? And uh, gx is now here, suppose, mm, uh, 2x, right? Simply. So, now we are going to find out the fx upon gx of this whole derivative. It's whole derivative, right? Derivative of this function. So, here, derivative of the fx is here, that is sin x divided by 2x so derivative of this we are going to find out and recently what we have learned derivative uh, uh, derivative of the uh, first to second is second function times derivative of the first function right uh, minus now first function times derivative of the second function that is 2x whole divided by dx and then whole divided by second function the square that is 2x whole square so when I will solve this it will be 2x times sin x the derivative of the sin x is cos x that we have learned minus again sin x right and the derivative of the 2x will be simply 2 right because x uh, to the power x one uh, uh, how did I solve this it's simply uh, we know the power rule that a derivative of the x to the power n divided by dx is equals to the x to the power uh, this is the power rule n times x to the power n minus 1 so here it's just uh, 2x right so 2 is a constant so 2 will come outside right d by dx 2 will come outside and then d times dx by dx it will be and uh, x has the power 1 so 2 times 1 times x to the power 1 minus 1 so 2 times 1 that's 2 and x to the power 0 that's equals to 2 so that's why I write here 2 and then whole divided by 2x squared that is 4x squared so overall what we get now I'm writing properly uh, well I'm getting this two common everywhere so I can take common two so x times cos x minus sin x whole divided by 2x squared right and I'm taking this two outside uh, well well it's fine I'm trying here and here bracket okay uh, so this two and two actually cancel out right so overall what we get x cos x minus sin x whole divided by 2x square right this is the derivative uh, wh what do we want right and uh, another example let me take you uh, suppose let me take here uh, fx uh, mm, something uh, x sin x right x plus sin x and uh, gx I'm taking like something uh, what should I take okay x cos x simply x cos x <coughs> so now we're going to find out the derivative of this so it will be d by dx x plus sin x whole divided by x plus cos x right then what will be uh, to, de to find the derivative of this what will be first function right times derivative of the second function that is x plus sin x divided by dx again minus second function that is uh, sorry um, uh, first function that is x plus sin x times I'm shifting a little bit derivative of derivative of uh, a second function that is x plus cos x right oh my god I'm sorry uh, okay okay fine uh, cos x and then this whole divided by second functions square x plus cos x whole square right so now what it will be x cos x it will be simply x plus cos x right times derivative of the x plus sin x that will be derivative of the x plus derivative of the sin x right uh, uh, shall I do one by one or directly mm. well I'm doing one by one don't worry dx by dx plus d sin x divided by dx right and then minus again x sin x x plus sin x and then again here derivative of the x and then derivative of the uh, cos x right dx by dx plus d cos x by dx right and then this whole divided by x plus cos x square whole square right x plus cos x we can use a plus b whole square formula also here right 
but we'll be doing this later. Let, let, let's write first this x plus cos x. Now, derivative of x is simply 1, and then derivative of the sin x is that's cos x, right? And again, minus x sin x, x plus sin x, right? And again, as, uh, I, as I did here, so derivative of the x, uh, the x simply is 1, and then derivative of the cos x is minus sin x. So this plus will be now minus, right? Minus sin x. And then whole divided by x plus cos x whole square, right? So like this, we have to find out the derivative uh, by using the uh, quotient rule, right? I hope you understand uh, a little bit the basic idea, the structure of the uh, quotient rule uh, may have been framed in your brain, right? I, I hope like that. And uh, later we'll be doing a lot of problem and uh, most difficult problems, right, of the quotient rule using the quotient rule. But it's just a uh, introduction or you're just uh, getting some frames of the quotient rule or just inserting some frames of the quotient rule or some, some basics of the uh, quotient rule. You just uh, insert some, just introduce with this how it is and how to solve the, uh, how to solve the problems related to, uh, related to the quotient rule or using the quotient rule. Just try to understand this right now. Later to the problems we'll be solving, a lot of problems we'll be solving. There you'll get more concept here, right? And uh, more problems make you more sharp in this chapter, okay? So we'll be, making, uh, we'll be meeting in the next video. Bye-bye.